The Ram 7 is one of the fastest killing guns with a TTK of 240 milliseconds, making an absolute meta weapon within Modern Warfare 3. Although there's a lot of recoil, so I got the no recoil build and I dropped the back to back MGBs with it. Ladies and gentlemen, this gun with no attachments is absolutely horrid. I did not like it until I got some attachments and I made this build, which I got two different builds, a suppressed one and then the no recoil build. For the first build that we're going to be going over, this is going to be my favorite build, the no recoil build. A lot of the enemies are going to think you're hacking. And so you might get shadow banned when you add this build. So the bulleted break is going to eliminate all the vertical recoil on the weapon, basically making the weapon very easy to use. Yes, we are going to have a little bit more horizontal. That side to side bounce will be increased. But for some reason, when you add the bulleted, it seems to also reduce that, even though it doesn't do that. It's just when I show you guys right here, this thing is a lot easier to use. You can't really use it up to long range with just the bulleted break, but it really does reduce a lot of that recoil. For the next attachment, though, since the bulleted break is bringing down that damage range, we need to bring that damage range back up by adding the, I believe it is, the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel, which yes, we are losing a little bit of our mobility, but the damage range increase that we get is insane. We get a 21.2% increase to the damage range, making this thing a four shot kill up to 38 meters. And if you didn't know, this is a very good gun in hardcore. I believe it's a one shot kill up to 40 meters, making it one of the best guns in the game for hardcore. Now, when you actually have this damage range, it's going to even be better than that. But there still is a lot of recoil on the weapon, making it pretty Pretty difficult to use so one of the best attachments for this gun that i recommend you guys to run on every single ram 7 build is going to be a stock called the i think the hvs 3.4 pad this one's going to add a whopping 20 percent to the recoil gun kick which if you didn't know that recoil gun kick is basically like your overall recoil pattern then you got the horizontal and the vertical which horizontal left to right vertical is up and down we all know the master camos look amazing in modern warfare 3 but they take hundreds of hours to get so if you want to save yourself some time i would definitely check out Guapsi. Guapsi is a very reliable company who will play in your account and unlock anything you want with a very fast delivery time. They have been sponsoring me for a long time and I haven't seen a single negative review and so I would really check them out. I'll have their link in the description. So now the gun is going to have way less recoil. We have a lot of damage range and we still have a pretty good mobility. This is going to be a very good weapon if you want to rush but you can also use it at long range. It kind of is up to you. I don't really think this thing needs a sight. Oh right there you guys can see this thing goes crazy. Crazy. So if you want, you can add a sight. This next two attachments are personal preference. The main part of the build is going to be this barrel, this muzzle, and the stock. The rest doesn't really matter. So if you want to add a sight, I would not add the slate reflector. I know the slate reflector is a pretty good one, but I find that there's a little bit more visual recoil when I do add the slate reflector on this build. Not on every build, but on this build, which is kind of weird. But when I add the MK3 reflector, I notice there's a lot less recoil, making it a little bit easier to use. Although I still prefer just to run the iron sights right there you guys could see i was kind of struggling but when i use the iron sights i don't really struggle with that let me know if that's the same for you in the comments like this thing is a lot easier to use with iron sights so i don't really recommend an a optic oh one other optic that's very good is the cronin intellect msp12 it builds in a laser to your gun making it a like two in one attachment although if you do want to add a laser just to increase the overall mobility making this thing a little bit better for rushing maybe you're on ship and you just you really want to rush the olv laser is going to be a great option for that another one that is pretty good is going to be the flashlights. The flashlights add a lot of stability, eliminating all that sway in your gunfights, and it gives you a lot of sprint to fire speed. Although, for me personally, I would not add a laser. I'm going to go over to the underbarrel and I'm going to add the hand stop, which I know the hand stop only gives you mobility, and there's a lot of recoil in those weapons. So, you might think, yo, we might want to add an underbarrel that gives you recoil control. Well, if you are struggling to use the gun, you might want to add the Kamir Ryan 03 vertical grip. This is going to be the best underbarrel in the game for recoil control. Although, the ADS speed is not going to be the best, and I did feel pretty clunky with this gun and that's why I'm going to be adding the hand stop which is going to increase that mobility allowing me to use this weapon more aggressively but then we still have a lot of recoil control and damage range for the next attachment again personal preference the main part of the build is going to be the barrel muzzle and the stock so if you want to increase the damage range making this thing a lot stronger I would add the high grain rounds yes there is going to be a little bit of more recoil which is when you might want to add that Kamira under barrel but if you do add the high grain now your effective damage range is going to be 43 7 meters that's when it's going to start to take more shots to kill if you want to add a uh, little bit more recoil control you guys can add the retort this one i really like because it adds firing aim and stability basically making it so your gun isn't going to sway once you're in the gunfight i'm not rocking this in the gameplay but this is still a great attachment that i run on a lot of my builds since it eliminates recoil and eliminates all the sway off the gun for the combs i don't think this gun really needs any of these so i'd stay away from those what i'm rocking in 
that first gameplay. In the second gameplay, I'm running a different build. In the first one, I'm rocking a magazine with the 40 round mag just because this gun has such a fast fire rate that you are going to be blowing through ammo, which is another reason I'm adding the hand stop so I can mitigate the cons of the 40 round mag. Although if you're not running the 40 round mag, you can add an optic, you can add that rear grip for the recoil control, you can add the underbarrel that gives you recoil control. The Phantom is a pretty good one because it gives you mobility and recoil control, but for me, I just noticed myself doing the best with the hand stop. So if you guys do want a screenshot of the absolute no recoil build, here you guys go. This is the suppressed build. So this one is going to have a little bit more recoil, but you are going to be off the radar and you're going to have way more damage range. And you guys are going to see in the gameplay, I was beaming up the long range with the suppressed barrel. So this gun is still very easy to use with that. And the bullet velocity is now over a thousand milliseconds, making a one of the best bullet velocities in the game. I said that kind of weirdly, but if you guys want a screenshot, this is going to be the build that we're adding. Again, we got the retort 90 group. So we get that recoil control 40 round mag so you can play aggressive we got this pad because it gives you the most amount of recoil control so we got the mobility that we are losing with the magazine we got the hand stop and then we got this barrel so we can increase that damage range and be off the radar both builds are absolutely amazing i am curious though in the gameplay let me know which i mean in the comments let me know which one you were rocking then for the second year, i think i was running the karambit just so i can run around the map a little bit quicker or i was running the renetti i can't really remember i really really like the renetti in this game it is definitely the best second in the game it is absolutely incredible this was like a high mobility overall good Renetti build got the stim in the semitex like usual and the infantry vest so i can play a little bit more aggressive although the assassin's vest is a great vest this one is basically ghost but a better version of ghost this is going to keep you off the radar at all times if you fire your gun you're going to be on the radar but if the enemy has a uav you're not going to show up on the radar or i believe if they even if they have the advanced uav you're not going to show up on the radar making a very very good vest it's just you're going to run out of ammo a lot because you can't run the munitions box so at that point you might want to run the scavenger gloves for me though because i'm running the infantry vest i got the munitions box so i can replenish my ammo another very good one is trophy if you're on ship it tactical insertion is pretty fun if you're playing aggressive you can you know play aggressive put that in the enemy spawn you die then boom you spawn right back over there ddos is pretty good and portable radar or is also great got the assault gloves because these are going to be very good for playing aggressive in this game when you jump shot your ads will get slowed down they nerf jump shotting in this game and in the last mono for two this one is going to make it so you can still ads quickly when you jump shot marksman gloves are very good at long range assault gloves are very good if you're playing aggressive covert sneakers so the enemies don't hear me flanking them then eud so i don't have to worry about nades now let's get into the nasty back-to-back -back mgb gameplays oh i think i know what you're talking about okay okay i will try it out i have to go buy a new razor so you know okay chat we're gonna drop a nuke we're gonna focus up we're gonna drop a nuke right now we've only dropped one nuke this stream time to drop a second one and my dude's kind of nuking my ears luther with his horrible mic god damn dude we're gonna get nuked or where are they spawning? On Snapchat? Oh, okay, so they're still spawning back there. I gotta switch my location up because they're gonna be watching me. They kind of can predict where you're gonna be at. There's a little bit of recoil. I could remove some of the recoil in this build chat by adding a better underbarrel, but this one gives you a lot of mobility, and it's kind of nice. And I just realized, I really hope I have Scavenger on this class because I I have a trophy system on and no munitions box, and, and I'm about to run out of ammo. Bro, that was really f***ing bad. Oh, my days. Basically, chat, if you want to do gun on this map, you just gotta... Just rotate this top area. Just find where they're spawning and just rotate this top area. It just gets a little bit difficult when they predict where you're gonna be at. Oh. Do I need them to capture some more flags. No, 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 no. Capture C. What are you, what are you doing? Do I have okay? So I have scavenger gloves on, which is good. I'm gonna do the assault gloves and throw on munitions box, and I should be better. Are you running 1440p? I am, I am. So I need to actually run around now because I'm running out of ammo. Bro, the oil is feeling really good in my skin. I kind of like the oil chat. I'm really liking it. I kind of want to put the oil in other places now. Huh? Because it feels good on my face. Why are you shooting me? Okay, we got the advanced UV. This is huge. Now we know exactly where the enemies are going to be. I'm rotating around. So I can get some extra kills. Putting myself in a better position. I really want them to capture the flags. But also, it's like hard to not kill them off the flag. We're going to call an advanced. We know exactly where these dudes are going to be. They're all spawning back in the corner. I need to get closer since I'm running out of ammo. So I got to use my pistol soon. Okay, take that guy out. Now we use pistol. Now we're behind them. Oh my days, Christmas noobs going crazy. Loading fresh mag. 
These guys don't read the Bible? I have never read the Bible. F*** that shit. But I respect... Uh, I respect it. But I, I, just, I don't got time for that I gotta play Clash. I hope that wasn't disrespectful to anybody. Holy f***. We got five shots left. That's all we need, baby. Yo, dude, this might be the smoothest loop that we've gotten in a while. Got the Christmas noobs making it easier. No recoil. Kind of. You always use headies. Whenever you can, use, use a heady. No teammates still on those kills, so there's plenty in top left. We still got the advanced review making my life a lot easier. I'm going to use some cover. This side's a little sketchy. Because they have an insane head glitch here. I'm going to get some high ground. No! What the f***? I should have died! But it's meant to be. Let's go, boys. Let's fucking go. Easy nukes. And motherfucking nukes. Why are they AK? What, 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 what are you guys doing? Oh, Christmas noobs. Christmas noobs. Let's go. Oh, my days. That wasn't too shabby. Yo, I might be able to beat my best streak of 82. A few moments later. Oh, what do you, oh, how do you get there? Bro, dude, this thing's actually nasty. Wait, okay, this actually is good. So the swarm always kills me. But if I'm up here, the swarm isn't going to really kill me because it's not going to land on me. Like, I'm not going to be running around. Right, I'm kind of glad I died because now we got the we can get the advanced UAV again and another swarm. That guy's gonna die from my swarm. Hello, bro. See if the enemies were capturing flags, chat. Imagine how many kills we would be able to get. Oh, bad. I have my ways, dude. I have my my ways. But secret. Actually, it's on YouTube if you want to look it up. No. Yo, that swarm is fucking psycho. Yo, did anybody get this game for Christmas recently? Bro, I think the oil gave me powers, boys. I think I'm gonna rub oil all over my face before every stream. Yeah, I did yesterday. Oh, hell yeah, Samuel. Hell yeah, my man. Samuel, I hope you're liking it, dude. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, we're on the 11. I'm gonna come up to here. Wait, wait, no. I'm gonna come up here with an O. BO2 swarming crazy. Yo, I'm got It goes crazy in this game, too. Nothing's gonna top the BO2 swarming. No, why do I gotta already... Oh, I gotta call in the MGB. Bro, this is uh, the lobby where I'd get like 200 kills. Easy. We got another swarm. Okay, let's call it MGB, then the swarm and the EMP for the triple whammy. God damn, boys, the triple whammy on them. Oh, you dead. You dead. Anybody else want to die today? I died, but let's go. Oh, that was a nice nuke. 73 and three? Damn. I should have bought him a box with nothing in it. That's, that's worse than coal. It's just a box with nothing in it. Yo, what are these spawns? Bro, this setup is nasty. You can have Amish oil in your hands, and you'll still hit your shots. They should be over here. No, the, uh, Why? I only get sweaty bastards in my game, I swear. Oh, Danner, 100%. It's because it's uh, skill base. You only get people your skill. So they feel extra sweaty since they're only your skill. Basically. Oh, yo, they're kind of mad, chat. Yeah, but he just got me. Ah, oh, he's just snapping on me. 
Whoa! That's some turbulence. Oh, I can give her my old Christmas tree. There's one. Loading Enemy securing Charlie. Can we hear Enemy the band in there? Charlie. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. <gasps> it's really close. God damn it. I look like a big bot, dude. Oh, fuck. I think this gun's too heavy. I'm behind cover. You'd probably tell me a horrible gift to get for her. I have to nuke these guys. It is required. I know they're all going to respond over here. Throwing the nade, so I have time to reload. Bro, they're so scared. Bro, you can't wallbang that? He's gonna throw a nade in here. Bro, man definitely thinks I'm hacking or some shit. They're all gonna be over here on A. I sold that, but like, I was in a little doorway where all they gotta do is shoot in one little spot and I'm dead. Oh my, oh my days! Yo, subscribe if you haven't already, right now. Gotta hit 100k and then I can get laid. Dude, I can't. Bro, this class is it. Dude, like yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. We know these guys are going on crazy flanks. They're on that Indiana Jones adventure right now. What? To me, to get a fucking UAV. We're taking Charlie. Charlie secure. Enemy securing Charlie. Alpha. Dude, I know they spawn over here sometimes. That's why I'm scared. And sometimes they spawn right there. The enemy took Charlie. But then they're taking C, so it's like they have a high chance to spawn there. Let's go! Oh, we nuked the dads! We nuked the motherfucking dads! Let's go! Subscribe! Leave a like. Know what he's on. Everybody, you're really mad. It's just... I, I Sorry. I, I apologize. It's the class. It's not the player. Bro, yeah, void. This is tomorrow's video. I got a really good suppressed build as well. Oh, I never showed you guys the class. of karma with the gifted membership oh my days yo this swarm is for you karma this swarm is for you man yo thank you for the gifted membership dude yo if you got gifted make sure you say thank you to my my man karma thank you dude for the gifted membership helps grow the community and you know if you didn't know it actually sends them a message that they've been gifted so you basically just got one other person in the stream for me so thank you now we're swarming them just like the sperm swarming the egg we all started out as a swarm once your father called in a swarm. That's how you made it.
My gun's better. My gun's so much better. I heard an espresso machine? The fuck? You think I make that much money? Yes, sir. Scene. I mean, Sean. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, no. Okay, so this is going to be in a YouTube video. So, YouTube video. I want to get my landlord a present. Nah, I, there's nothing that goes with the present. Like, you know, I don't want anything from it. It's just as a nice gesture. Just like how you would get maybe your teacher at school a present for Christmas. I want to get my landlord a present. She's very nice. What do I do? What do I get her? And how do I make it so she thinks I'm not trying to get, you know, not trying to invite her over or some shit. You know, I'm trying, trying to be PG with it. I don't want anything to come from it. Someone said give her the clock clock 1000. I was like, I think that's a little too far. Like, I don't know about that one. Visa gift card? That's too boring. Too boring. I need something that's like nice but not super expensive. And that's like, doesn't look like I'm trying to hit on her or want anything from it. Maybe if she was like, you know, my type and a baddie. Maybe. But like, you know, I'm not trying to get evicted. Maybe free rent though. Yo, these enemies think they're going to win. Fuck, reload! What a G! Okay, time. Go on then. Beep, bop, boop, bop, let's go. Look, they think they're going to win, chat. They think. Nope. MGP, I win. I always win. Can we hit a clip? Oh, inspect, let's go, oh my days, I'm baddie with the 15, thank you. Let's see what they have to say, I'm baddie, I'll read your thing in a second. Yo, GG's guys, GG's. Good game. Yo, 84-13 is kind of crazy.